Hello my students. Our topic for today in government is the development of political parties in Nigeria 1. Colonial era and the false republic. So the instructional materials that we'll be using are the images of political leaders in the colonial era and the false republic. Brief documentary on the false republic political parties in Nigeria. Under this topic, we'll be looking at just three political parties. The Nigeria National Democratic Party, NNDP, the Nigerian Youth Movement, NYM, and the National Council of Nigeria and Cameroon, NCNC. Then under these three political parties, we'll be looking at their origin, formation, organizational structure, leadership, and finance. Then we proceed to the aims and objectives of these three political parties, then the performance, achievement, and contributions of these three political parties, that is NNDP, NYM, and NCNC. Then at the end of the lesson, we'll be taking a quiz evaluations to know how far you have learned in the class today. Then the assignments, the learning objectives, what I expect of you at the end of the class or at the end of the lesson, are uh, you should be able to discuss the origin, formation, organizational structure, leadership and finance of these three political parties, that is NMDP, NYM, NCNC. You should be able to align the aims and objectives of these three political parties, NMDP, NYM and NCNC. And you should be able to identify the performance, achievement and contributions of these three political parties, NMDP, NYM and NCNC. The development of political parties in Nigeria could be traced back to the activities of tribal and cultural associations, religious bodies, social groups, and trade unions that metamorphosed into political parties. And what is the meaning of metamorphose? To change, to transform from one form to another. So the historical development of political parties in Nigeria has a link with ethnic group, with cultural association, with religious body, with social groups, clubs, old boys and old girls association, trade unions among others that comes together to form what we know as political parties. For example, we have the Egbe Omodudua that changed to action group. Why the Havewa of the Hausa Fulani metamorphosed into Northern People's Congress, NPC. There are the political parties of the First Republic of the Colonial Era drive towards the liberation and emancipation of the country from the shackle and imperialism of colonialism from colonialism. Social political parties like the Nigeria National Democratic Party NLDP, Nigerian Youth Movement NYM and the National Council of Nigeria and Cameroon as well as Action Group, AG, Northern People's Congress, NPC, they all thrive towards the liberation of the country from the charcoal of imperialism of the British Empire. Therefore, the following political parties were under the multi-party system of the colonial era and the false republic in Nigeria. And what is multi-party system? The number of political parties that are permitted to operate in a country and some country it could be just only one political party as a case with China some it could be two political party as a case with Nigeria in the third republic and also in USA some it could be multi just as currently in Nigeria that are permitted to operate in a country but when we see the multi-party system in Nigeria we have today gain its origin from the exception of political parties because the constitution did not limit the number of political parties to be established in Nigeria. So as well as far as they met the requirements. So number one, in the lesson today we'll be looking at just three political parties. The Nigeria National Democratic Party, NNDP, Nigerian Youth Movement, NYM, National Council of 
Nigeria and Cameroon. Then in our next lesson or next class, we'll be looking at Action Group AG, Northern People's Congress MPC, Northern Element Progressive Union NEPU, United Middle Belt Congress UMBC, and other minor political parties of the First Republic. Nigeria National Democratic Party NNDP was the first political party to be formed in Nigeria. And it was formed as a result of the constitutional provision of the Clifford Constitution of the 1922, which allocated three seats to Lagos and uh, one seat to Calabar, making four seats, legislative seats. And this established this constitutional provision by Clifford Constitution empower the establishment or formation of NNDP in 1923 by Abbott Macaulay, the man in one ever coin. Abbott Macaulay was regarded as the father of nationalism. And the activities of NNDP was based majorly in Lagos and do not extend the tentacles to Calabar that has another legislative uh, seat then. And the party was majorly financed, was mainly financed by its leader. The aims and objectives of NNDP wants to gain political independence for Nigeria just as any other political parties during the colonial era. Number two is to encourage political participation by engaging the people on how to, on how to exercise a franchise right. And number three is to represent the interests of the people in the legislative arms that what the people need by communicating it with the British official that dominate the executive uh, council. And number three, and, number, and we move to the performance, achievements, and contributions of NNDP. One, it won all the three seats allocated to Lagos in the Legislative Council in the election of 1923, 1928, and 1933, being the only political party we have then. Number two, the party won elective seats in Lagos Town Council. Three, it dominated the politics of Lagos for 15 good years. And it launched a newspaper called Lagos Daily News in 1925. The next political party that we'll be looking at is the Nigerian Youth Movement, NYM. The NYM was founded in 1935 when the Lagos Youth Movement El Wahem was established in 1934 by a group of young Nigerians led by Hines Ikoli, Samuel Akinsoya, Dr. Jesse Vaughan. Change its names to NYM from El Wahem. The party gave NNDP a serious challenge in the control of political affairs of Lagos because of its national outlook and prominent members including Inamde Hazikwe, H.O. Davis, Obafemi Awolowo, and Samuel Akitola. So you can see the images of these, the political leaders of the NYM, Anesikoli, who was the first editor of uh, Daily Times, and also the president of the party. Then we have uh, Samuel Akinto, Akinsoya, Jesse Vaughn in Amdiazikoe. We have also H. O. Davis, the lawyer, Obafemi Awolowo, and uh, Samuel Ladoke Akintola. So the aims and, objecti and objectives of the NYM are to promote national unity and consciousness, two, to fight for the improvement of Yaba Aya College by linking it to university in Britain. And number three is to gain independence for Nigeria just like any political party of the false republic. And to seek Nigeria recruitment into civil service 
that were dominated by the British, the whites. The performance, achievement, and contributions of NYM are one. It won all the three legislative council seats at Lagos in 1938. That is three years after its establishment. Number two, it is a first nationalist movement with national coloration or outlook, unlike the one of the NNDP that was based majorly at Lagos. Number three, it promotes Nigerian unity and national consciousness. And it gave birth to modern nationalism in Nigeria and it set the machinery for the independence of Nigeria just as any other political parties during the colonial era and the movement established a powerful newspaper called Daily Service The next political party is the National Council of Nigeria and Cameroon NCNC and NCNC was founded in August 1944 it was first named National Council of Nigeria and the Cameroon, Cameroons and later renamed the National Convention of Nigerian Citizens in 1960 when Nigeria gained independence and when the Cameroon broke away from Nigeria. The NCNC was the first Nigerian political party to be organized to seek total independence for Nigeria. Abbott Macaulay was the first leader and president of NCNC and the and Dr. Inam De Azikwe, the general secretary. Dr. Azikwe became the president of the party after the demise of Abbott Macaulay in 1946. So you can see the image of the party leader, the Abbott Macaulay and uh, Inam De Azikwe. Then the aims and objectives of NCNC. One, to achieve self-government for Nigeria. So it seems all the political parties that were established during the colonial era have this in common, to achieve self-government for Nigeria, independence. So number two is to spread political education to the people through their electioneering, through campaigning, through rally, their manifestos and uh, among other agendas, political agendas. So number three is to arouse political consciousness among the masses. And number four, to establish a platform for expressing social equality, economic security, religious tolerance. Then the performance, achievement, and contribution of NYM. One, it established newspaper called West African Pilot. And NCNC and its West African Pilot led lent its political support for the general strike of 1945 and 1945 that was when the end of the second world war and the date that the united nations organization was established and number three it united the nigerian nationalists in the fight for self-government number four it arose political consciousness among nigeria it mounted protest against the deficiency of the richard Constitution of 1946 and it also founded the London protest of delegates against the 1946 Richard Constitution and it played a significant role at the constitutional conferences that led to Nigeria independence and number eight the NCNC formed the first regional government of Eastern region being the political party that dominates that region then it formed coalition government with NPC, that is Northern People's Congress, to produce the first ceremonial president in 1960 in the name of Inamde Azikwe. Now comes to the documentary on the First Republic political parties in Nigeria. So I would like you to watch this brief documentary and relate to what we have treated in the class with this. Political parties that constituted the First Republic were formed four years before Nigeria became a republic. It was shortly before the country's independence in 1960. And they include the National Council of Nigeria and Cameroons, NCNC, the Northern People's Congress, MPC, and the Action Group. 
The newly formed political parties were led by Namdi Azikiwe, Amadubello and Obafemi Awolowo respectively. When the 1959 elections were held, none of the three political parties were able to win the majority. This led to an agreement which would result in the first merger. The MPC and the NCNC merged to form the national government. Three years after independence, when the country became a republic with Namdi Azikiwe as the president and Tafawa Belewa maintaining the office of the prime minister, a national census would be conducted, but the result was believed to have favored the Hausa Fulani over every other people in the country. This did not sit well with the Igbos, and with that dissatisfaction, the NCNC pulled out of the union. They decided to join a faction of the AG, the Action Group, and formed a new political party, the United Progressive Grand Alliance, OPGA. It was led by Obafemi Awolowo. While the other part of the split group, the MPC, formed an alliance with the other faction of the Action Group and created a new party. They would call it the Nigerian National Democratic Party, NNDP, and it was led by Samuel Akintola. The Second Republic would not come on... So I hope you have learned one or two things from the documentary. So next is a quiz section. So I'd like to try to test your knowledge and your orientation of this topic. So question number one, the historical development of, the, of political parties in Nigeria had link with ethnicity and religious body. A. Truth. B. False. C. Probably. D. Not sure. The following are political parties of the colonial era and the false republic in Nigeria except dash A. Nigeria National Democratic Party, NNDP, Niger B. Nigeria Youth Movement, NYM, C. Social Democratic Party, SDP, and D. National Council of Nigeria and Cameroons, NCNC. One of the following is the first political party to be found to be formed in Nigeria. A. Nigeria Youth Movement NYM. B. Nigeria National Democratic Party NNDP. C. Northern People's Congress NPC. D. National Council of Nigeria and Cameroon NCNC. Which of these following colonial constitution first enabled the establishment of political parties in Nigeria? A. McFancy Constitution of 1951 B. Richard Constitution of 1946 C. Littleton Constitution of 1954 or D. Clifford Constitution of 1922 The first, the number of, question number five, the number of legislative councils say that we are allocated to Lagos and Calabar in the, in the Clifford Constitution of 1922 are dash and dash respectively. A. 3 and 1 B 3 and 2 C 2 and 1 D 2 and 2 Question number 6 One of these nationalists is referred to as father of Nigerian nationalism A. Obafemi Awolowo B. Inam Dihazikwe C. Abat Makoli D. Amodu Belo Nigeria National Democratic Party NNDP was founded in Dash by Dash A. 1922 Abbott Macaulay B. 1923 H.O. Davis C. 1922 Abbott Obafemi Awolowo and D. 1923 Abbott Macaulay Question number 8 Which of the following political parties produced the first ceremonial precedent in Nigeria through coalition with NPC in 1960. A. N N N D P. B. N C N C. C. N Y M. D. A G. Question number nine. The Nigeria Youth Movement was founded in Dash by the following leaders. A. 1935 by N S Koli, Samuel Akinsoya, and Dr. J C Vaughan. B. 1934 by N.S. Ecole, Samuel Akinsoya and uh, Dr. J. Vaughan. C. 1935 by Obafemi Awolowo, Inam Diazikwe and Abat Macaulay. D. 1934 by H.O. Davis, Samuel Akintola and uh, Amodo Bello. 
And the last question, question number 10. The three common aims and objectives among the MNDP, NYM, and NCNC are to promote dash, dash, and dash. A. Free education, free housing, and employment. B. Accountability, unity, and liberty. C. Strike, discrimination, and corruption. D. National consciousness, political participation, and Nigeria independence. So the assignment for today is do, ec do ethnic group and religious bodies still influence political party formation in Nigeria of today? Discuss with example. Then you can submit your answer for the quiz evaluation and group assignments to this WhatsApp number. Telephone is 0810327924. Email lawabafemipita at gmail.com. Thank you for your rapt attention. Stay safe. God bless.